and it may not look like much but this is called Old Federal Road and it is one of the oldest and most historically significant roads in the area but the old federal road maybe once upon a time it was called the new federal road I don't think it ever was officially but if it was that would have been back in 1806 so the original idea for old federal road uh, came about while George Washington was still president so once upon a time there was a, a part of the country called Virginia and there was another part of the country called Georgia and in between Virginia and Georgia there was a huge expanse of very inconvenient land if you were uh, a European American called the Cherokee Nation and so those uh, states who were at the time quite significant to the United States needed a way to get information back and forth across to those states so they decided they needed a mail route and so originally this was just a mail route and the mail right the mail route came about because of a treaty that happened in 1806 uh, this road and this very stretch of road uh, had uh, huge uh, commercial historical significance because uh, this is called this part of it is called the Hildebrand McNair Overland Route and so what happened was just behind me which is to the north uh, there was an area where the Hiawassee River and the Okoye River came together and if you remember your fifth grade history wherever you had rivers and, and water those were the best places to have uh, shipping routes but south in front of me there's another bit of water called the Conasauga River and it would have been great if you know the Okoye or the Hiawassee had run into the Conasauga but it really doesn't and so uh, to get products and or services and or people uh, between the wonderful water highway that was the Hiawassee River and the Conasauga River required several miles I don't remember exactly how many maybe I can check that out and put in a some text or something here uh, but to get things between the two rivers required an overland route uh, which at the time uh, happened by way of ox cart so there was uh, a mill and a port uh, owned by a company called Hildebrand yeah interesting that it's Hildebrand some of us who are moto vloggers know a world famous moto, moto vlogger named Hildebrand and uh, down on the Conasauga River there was another family called McNair and they had a mill and a port and those uh, two families got together to organize the Hildebrand McNair overland route uh, so that they could take things from the boats barges whatever um, to the north and transport goods back and forth between the two ports uh, to the different rivers so if you'd like more information about the old federal road visit your local library.